everyone, I'm going to do questions 9 through 11 in one screencast since it's all the same setup. So we have measurements on young children in Mumbai, India, found this least squares regression line for predicting, there's one numerical variable, height from arm span. So I do have two numerical variables. Right, so here we've got regression analysis. I'm just going to put a little side note here. Right, We had two numerical variables. All right, great. So it says, by looking at the equation of the LSRL, you can see that the correlation between height and arm span is blank. Okay, well, I didn't actually give you the correlation, but I can look at the slope here. I wanna emphasize that the slope is positive, right? So that implies there's an increasing relationship or we might call it a positive relationship, meaning as arm span increases, so as your arm span gets larger, then your height tends to get larger, right? And if you have that kind of positive increasing relationship, then you're gonna have a positive correlation coefficient. You're gonna have a positive R value. So the sign of the slope and the sign of the R value, they're in, in, in tandem, I don't know if that's the right word, but they always match. They're either both positive or they're both negative. So if the slope is positive, R is positive. If the slope is negative, R is negative. But because our slope is positive, I know I have a positive R value, or another way of saying that is R has to be greater than zero. All right, then they get into the, um, the correlation of, or coefficient of determination. They get into R squared. It says, in addition to the regression line, the report on the Mumbai measurement says that R squared is 95%. Now, if you wanted to get from R squared to R, just as a little side note here, and I am going to go on a side, let me put this off to the side. If you know R squared is 0.95, you can take the square root of that number and get your R value. So I could tell you R was either positive or negative 0.975. Now, the reason I'm able to determine whether R is positive or negative is because I know the slope. So again, because the slope is positive, then I know that R is actually positive 0.975. So I wanna be clear here that R is positive 0.975. It is not negative, and we knew that because the slope was positive. So I could say there was a strong positive linear relationship between height and arm span if I wanted to use the interpretation for R. Now, let's actually get back to number 10, which is asking us, about R squared. Now, R squared has a different interpretation. It says 95% of the variation in height can be explained by arm span. And that's a huge amount. We're saying, hey, your change in height, 95% of that, I can explain away just based on your arm span changing. And then 5%, I'm not sure where it's coming from. And if we look, that's option D down here. All right, and then the last one asks us to take a look at residuals. It says one child in the Mumbai study had an arm span, uh, excuse me, had a height of 59 and an arm span of 60 centimeters. So this child's ordered pair, we knew the arm span was 60 and they gave us a height back of 59, right? This was the actual data value. Now, I want the residual. So let's let's start to talk about a residual. So a residual is the actual height minus the predicted height. Okay, so, and I'm gonna put this here. Our actual height, we found it right here. We said it was 59. All right, if we could find the predicted height, we can calculate this residual. Well, you do know the predicted height. You literally have it right here. Right, that symbol right there, the hat with the Y means predicting height. So let's go figure this out. I know that I can find my height. Oops, let me put the equal sign here. If I go with 6.4 plus 0.93 times my arm span. All right, so that's 6.4 in this case plus 0.93 and the arm span was 60. So we put that in there and we get 62.2 and the units are inches. Oops, no, they're not. Oh my gosh, sorry. This problem, we're not doing height in inches. We're doing height in centimeters. Sorry, we're on the metric system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that 62.2 plus 
put it here, and when I subtract those two numbers, I get negative 3.2, and then the units are centimeters. And there's my residual. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.